are back with another K-pop unboxing video. For me, it's been five literal seconds since my last video, but for you, it's probably been a week. So, um, yeah. today, I'm very excited. We're going to be unboxing one of my favorite groups album. This is the song that got me into K-pop. I, the first song I've ever listened to from K-pop that I liked was do, 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 do. Then I listened to Hobgoblin, and then my sister started listening to K-pop videos on YouTube, and I heard a song in that called Bam by Momoland, and I became obsessed with that song. I then became obsessed with the group and all of their music, and then I became obsessed with K-pop in general, and then I became obsessed with Twice, then A Tease, then I Pink, and now Got7. Yes, if you haven't read my tweet, I am now an Agassé. But today we're going to be unboxing the album that got me into K-pop. This isn't the album, this is just the light stick of Momoland that I absolutely have to use while I'm unboxing this because it's sacrilege otherwise. So let's just get this lit up so we can support the guys. Although, to be perfectly honest, Momoland are no longer my ultimate group. They were, but then um, loads of things happened. <laughs> Three of the members that were my favourite left and MLD completely screwed them around because, you know. So the album we're unboxing today is the album that BAM is from, which is called Fun to the World. They actually received a lot of criticism for this because they thought that people thought well, they were making fun of other cultures, which is just not true. Okay, so here it is, by the way. Fun to the World. This was their fourth mini album, and I do have a gift with it, and it is the thumbs up mirror, which I'll give in to my sister because I don't need mirrors. So, you know. How do you, okay, no, no mistake. <laughs> I didn't actually realise that this is what the album looked like because on my phone I've only got um, the single BAM so it's just, it's all, all you can see is the promotional photo for the single. Um, but what um, made me get this one is the fact that it was the only one that was available. <laughs> Another reason why um, I'm scared that all the albums that I want are going to go off sale because a lot of them on Amazon... There is a dead moth on my... <laughs> I'm just gonna not look at that. A lot of the albums that you can buy, like on Amazon and places, um, only one version is available. So... Scary, but at least I've got one. Okay, this is so hard to get into. <laughs> Here's the mirror, and this is the uh, photo of their most recent, com well actually that's not true, their comeback, thumbs up, can you see it, can you see it, can you see it, can you see it, cool, so let's get into the actual album, I don't actually know if this was, is this the official one, or is this like another version, well whatever, so we've got the tracks on the back, which is Bam, be very, very, um, be bing, no, ge, im, bingo game. Yes, I can read Hangul because <laughs> I've been learning. <laughs> Only one you and bam. Now, um, 
This is no way bashing Momoland at all. But the only song that I actually really like on this album is Bam. And I find that a lot with um, smaller K-pop groups. They go all out, the company go all out in the title song, but then they don't really put much thought into um, the, the rest of the album. And it's not that the album's not good, because otherwise it wouldn't have charted so high. It's just, I think they could do a lot more with the rest of the album. And I, I think you find that a lot in... Sorry, I've just realised the Mermelan logo is spelled out in shoes. Can you see that? They're shoes. Okay, anyway. We'll just move on. So that's the front. I really like the front, actually. I like the fact that it's incorporating loads of things. Oh! So we've got some... We've got... Here's this, you know, the CD. And as we all know, we don't buy them for the CD. So there's actually not many things included in this album. I think that might be because... Um, Obviously, it's, this album was from like over two years ago now. So, oh look, it's Teha, Daisy and Yonu. You've got Teha, she was my bias. Yonu, my bias record, and Daisy, my third favorite. Who just got completely screwed over by MLB, let's be honest. So, we've got some stickers here. Let's open up the stickers. Did love some good stickers. I don't think I've got a photo card with this album. Oh, it's just not good, is it? So we've got, got loads. Of, we've got like a crap ton of stickers. <laughs> we've got all them, all them. What I might do then is just cut out um, some of these stickers and like slot them into my photo card album. Some of these. Look at all these. Oh, come on. Got other stickers. Great. Uh, got the stickers there. And then this is all that's in the album. Got some. Oh, we have got a photo card and I have got Ahin. I was really worried I wasn't going to get a photo card then because. <laughs> Cable albums always come with photo cards. It's just unnatural for them not to be one. Um, we've got Ahin, Ahin, Ahin. Do you say Ahin or Ahin? Do you not pronounce the H? I'm not sure whether you are. Ahin. Photo card. So this book is just, I think it's the lyrics book, is it not? Got loads of pictures. Pictures here. I really love this colour blue. This is a really nice colour blue. I have the po uh, the photo, the, this poster on my wall. Who else? We've got all the members here. Nancy's hair is just really nice. I really like that colour green. That's a really nice colour. Can you see that? I really like that colour green. That's really nice. I think she said it was supposed to be teal, but obviously as it's faded, it's gone to green. It's got Hibbin, Teha. <laughs> I'm worried about Taeha, she's so thin now. Moving on, we're just gonna move on. Okay, is there anything else in here with some pictures? Any more photo cards? Any more photo cards? Oh, this, ah, this is, this is the lyric book, yes. And a lot of people actually bashed Bam in the first place because they thought it was an exact copy of Boom Boom. And a lot of people don't realise that BAM is a continuation of Boom Boom. And obviously, if it's made by the same person, Shin Sedong, Shin Sedong Tiger, they're going to sound the same. So, that was my unboxing of Fun to the World, BAM, by Momoland. The group, the song, the album that got me into K-pop, Forever Grateful will and always will be my favourite song in the world, BAM. And who doesn't love a good tectonic shuffle? I'm, I can't get over the fact that these are spelled out in shoes. Like, I've never, I've, I've got loads of, I've seen loads of pictures of the BAM era for Momoland and I've never seen them spell their name in shoes. <laughs> but whatever. So that was Momoland's Fourth mini album, Fun to the World. 
thanks very much for watching stay tuned because um my next video will be another light stick unboxing and i'll be doing it in five seconds and you'll be seeing it hopefully sometime in the next week or so i'm gonna go add it to the collection i have already filled out my display so soon you'll get to see it it's really nothing special but i really love it so stay tuned